VUC, we believe that education is the key to success in life. However, education can take many forms. Remember the old classrooms, the teacher on the stage and the dusty old books? We can do much better than that. This is not a school, it's a learning center. What is this for a dyr? Is it a giraffe? I don't know. Good, yes, there is a giraffe. Well, the difference between school and learning center is GUS. GUS represents the four different environments in which our teaching and our learning is conducted. Well, seen from a teacher's perspective, GUS represents a unique opportunity to have a kind of learning environment that matches exactly what kind of assignment we want students to work with. If it's a teacher's presentation, if it's a um, dialogue-based um, assignment that they have or if they need to, to work on their own, reflect on the kind of uh, or the, the contents that we have just been through. An essentially important part of the new learning environment is the one-to-one -one principle regarding computers. The principle is based on the fact that the school provides computers to all students and all teachers and they, they have the same platform, the same programs available to them it also means that the students and the teachers can work on their computers irrespective of which learning environment they may find themselves. And it also means that the collaborative learning, access to the internet and to the world outside is catered for wherever we may be. And it also means that shared documents, wikis and blogs are, are working platforms that we can use. We expect our students to be active producers rather than passive recipients. Digital learners in a digital world. We want our students to learn for life, not for school. Open doors, windows, transparency and knowledge to be shared. Really many of our students are quite familiar with modern technology. They're streetwise and know their way about this. These skills, the iPhone skills and computer skills, are not enough in, uh, to succeed. We, we need to challenge the students in other ways. They need to meet good otherness rather than having a copy of their own everyday lives. To ensure this, uh, the teachers must represent that otherness in person but also introduce students to materials and problems that they, can, that they can see their own lives reflected in. So this requires of the students that they reach out for the fruits of learning, sometimes even having to stand on their toes. It is my opinion that the GUS principle um, and the, the architecture to back it up um, supports this kind of thinking. And while we use much of modern technology and everyone is familiar with it, it is my impression that the way we deal with it supports and gives inspiration to the learning that is supposed to take place here. In practical terms, when I'm trying to implement the GOS principle to, uh, to my teaching, I would ideally start with my students in a room equipped with a smart board where I would introduce theory or present an assignment to the students. We will then move on to other learning facilities like group facilities equipped and designed to, to, to host such activities or move on to dialogue based um, surroundings or even to the so-called quiet zone where um, reflective work, written work and also individual work on a broad basis are supposed to take place. The move from, from one learning environment to the other helps shift focus from the teacher to the students who are expected to assume far more responsibility now in the new system. This, the shift of uh, the move from one environment to the other is also a signal to the students that a new approach is now required for their learning. The teacher's role naturally changes as a consequence of course. Much necessary planning um, involved in making the, move, the moves from one learning environment to the other run smoothly 
is made by teachers who share the same uh, parts of, the, of, the, of a given floor at a given time. The teachers are organised in teams and it's the job of the teams to support the students in their endeavours to succeed. To be successful, one must be willing to move, physically as well as mentally. We want a learning centre where students like to be and like to make friends.